It's now 6.55. Let's take a look at the stories we're following as you head out the door. This morning we begin with Way 31's Rodney Ross. We now know the man who led deputies in Limestone County on a high speed chase has been charged with auto theft. That's according to their jail website. Cameron Powers led the deputies on that chase Monday afternoon after he stole a car. He then crashed the car and took off on foot. He was later spotted by a teen who called 911 while her grandmother confronted him with a rifle. Powers is in Limestone County jail on a $5,000 bond. Casey. Affordable housing for senior citizens could be available in Huntsville as early as the end of next year. The $10 million project will be off of Jeff Road and age and income will be considered before people can move in. Construction begins in August. Alyssa. Investigators say there will likely be at least one more arrest as part of an investigation into an assault on the Flint River. Three people are currently charged with assault in the case. Huntsville police said a teenager had injuries so severe he needed facial reconstructive surgery. Alabama 53 between I-65 and Alabama 251 is now down to one lane this morning. Crews are repaving the road. Work started at 6 and is expected to last until 6 tonight. Happening today, President Trump's re-election campaign officially kicks off. In a tweet, the president said there have been more than 100,000 requests to attend. Supporters have been camping out at the site in Orlando to be among the first to get into the event. Rob.